Sandstone by Octavio Paz Sandstone is an epic poem, long and passionate. A hypnotic torrent of images and signs dazzle and enchant us as we pass through each verse. The imagination is left spinning, intoxicated with pleasure. Sandstone is also a circular poem. There are no ends to sentences anywhere. And the first six verses are also the last six verses, so the poem can start again and never cease. It is made up of hendecasyllables, eleven syllable lines, because hendecasyllables are the measure of the sonnet, the lob poem par excellence in Latin languages. And there are 584 hendecasyllables because the planet Venus covers a cycle of 584 days to return to the same point in relation to the sun. This peculiarity was highly valued and studied by the Aztecs, who placed it at the center of their cosmogony, and of that portentous and complex machine for reading the cosmos, which is the sandstone, the Aztec calendar. Let the music, the images, and the many lights of the 584 lines of this prodigious love poem to life and its fragility carry you away. A crystal willow, a poplar of water, a tall fountain the wind arches over, a tree deep-rooted yet dancing still, a course of a river that turns, moves on, doubles back and comes full circle, forever arriving, the calm course of the stars or an unhurried spring, water with eyes closed, welling over with oracles all night long. A single presence in a surge of waves, wave after wave till it covers all. A rain of green that knows no decline, like the flash of wings unfolding in the sky. A path through the wilderness of days to come, and the gloomy splendor of misery, like a bird whose song can turn a forest to stone, and the imminent joys on branches that vanish, the hours of light pecked away by the birds and the omens that sleep past the hand. A sudden presence like a burst of song, like the wind singing in a burning building, a glance that holds the world and all its seas and mountains dangling in the air, body of light filtered through an agate, thighs of light, belly of light, the base, the solar rock, cloud-colored body, color of a brisk and leaping day, the hour sparkles and has a body. The world is visible through your body, transparent through your transparency. I travel my way through galleries of sound. I flow among echoing presences. I cross transparencies as though I were blind. A reflection erases me. I'm born in another. O oh, forest of pillars that are enchanted, through arches of light, I travel into the corridors of a diaphanous fall. I travel your body, like the world. Your belly is a plaza full of sun. Your breasts, two churches, where blood performs its own parallel rites. My glances cover you like ivy. You are a city the sea assaults. A stretch of ramparts split by the light in two halves the color of peaches a domain of salt, rocks, and birds, under the rule of oblivious noon. Dressed in the color of my desires, you go your way naked as my thoughts. I travel your eyes, like the sea. Tigers drink their dreams in those eyes. The hummingbird burns in those flames. I travel your forehead, like the moon, like the cloud that passes through your thoughts. I travel your belly, like your dreams. Your skirt of corn ripples and sings. Your skirt of crystal, your skirt of water, your lips, your hair, your glances rain all through the night. And all day long you open my chest with your fingers of water. You close my eyes with your mouth of water. You rain on my bones 
a tree of liquid sending roots of water into my chest. I travel your length like a river. I travel your body like a forest. Like a mountain path that ends in a cliff, I travel along the edge of your thoughts, and my shadow falls from your white forehead. My shadow shatters, and I gather the pieces and go on with no body, groping my way, the endless corridors of memory, the doors that open into an empty room where all the summers have come to rot. Jewels of thirst burn at its depths. The face that vanishes upon recall, the hand that crumbles at my touch, the hair spun by a mob of spiders over the smiles of years ago. Setting out from my forehead, I search. I search without finding, search through a moment, a face of storm and lightning flashes racing through the trees of night, a face of rain in a darkened garden, relentless water that flows by my side. I search without finding, I write alone. There's no one here, and the day falls, the year falls. I fall with the moment. I fall to the depths, invisible path over mirrors repeating my shattered image. I walk through the days, the trampled moments. I walk through all the thoughts of my shadow. I walk through my shadow in search of a moment. I search for an instant alive as a bird for the sun of five in the afternoon tempered by walls of porous stone. The hour ripened its cluster of grapes, and bursting, girls spilled out from the fruit, scattering in the cobblestone patios of the school. One was tall as autumn, and walked through the arcades enveloped in light, and space encircled, dressed her in a skin even more golden and more transparent. Tiger, the color of light, brown deer on the outskirts of night, girl glimpsed leaning over green balconies of rain, adolescent incalculable face. I've forgotten your name, Melusina, Laura, Isabel, Persephone, Mary. Your face is all the faces and none. You are all the hours and none. You're a tree and a cloud, all the birds and a single star the edge of the sword and the executioner's bowl of blood, the ivy that creeps, envelops, uproots the soul and severs it from itself. Writing of fire on a piece of jade, crack in the stone, queen of snakes, column of mist, spring in the rock, lunar circus, airy of eagles, anise seed, thorn tiny and mortal, thorn that brings immortal pain, Shepherdess of valleys under the sea, gatekeeper of the valley of the dead, liana that drops from the cliffs of vertigo, dangling vine, poisonous plant, resurrection flower, grape of life, lady of the flute and the lightning flash, terrace of jasmine, salt in the wound, bunch of roses for the man shot down, snow in August, gallows moon, writing of the sea on basalt rock, writing of the wind on desert sand, the sun's last will, pomegranate, wheat, face of flames, face devoured, adolescent face plagued by phantom years and circular days that open out on the same patio, the same wall. The moment is a flame, and all the faces that appear in the flames are a single face. All of the names are a single name, all of the faces a single face, all of the centuries a single moment, and through all the centuries of the centuries, a pair of eyes blocks the way to the future. There's nothing in front of me, only a moment salvaged from a dream tonight of coupled images dreamed, a moment chiseled from the dream, torn from the nothing of this night, lifted by hand, letter by letter, while time outside gallops away. And pounding at the doors of my soul is the world with its bloodthirsty schedules. Only a moment while the cities, names, flavors, and everything that is alive all crumble inside my blind skull, while the sorrows of night press on my thoughts, weigh down my spine, and my blood runs a little slower, my teeth wobble, my eyes cloud over, and the days and years heap their empty horrors.
while time folds its fan shut, and behind its images there's nothing, the moment plunges into itself and floats surrounded by death, threatened by night's lugubrious yawn, threatened by death that is masked and alive, the moment plunges into itself, into itself like a closing fist, like a fruit that ripens towards its center and drinks from itself, spilling over, the moment, translucent, seals itself off and ripens inward, sends out roots, grows within me, taking me over. Its feverish lifting drives me out. My thoughts are nothing more than its birds. Its mercury runs through my veins, tree of the mind, fruit that tastes of time. Oh, life to live, life already lived, time that comes back in a swell of sea, time that recedes without turning its head. The past is not past, it is still passing by, flowing silently into the next vanishing moment. In an afternoon of stone and saltpeter, armed with invisible racers, you write in red illegible script on my skin, and the wounds dress me like a suit of flames. I burn without end. I search for water. In your eyes, there's no water. They're made of stone. And your breasts, your belly, your hips are stone. Your mouth tastes of dust. Your mouth tastes like poison thyme. Your body tastes like a well that's been sealed. Passage of mirrors where anxious eyes repeat. Passage that always leads back to where it began. You take me, a blind man, led by the hand, through relentless galleries toward the center of the circle. And you rise like splendor hardened into an axe, like light that flays, engrossing as a gallows is to the doomed, flexible as whips and thin as a weapon that's twin to the moon. Your sharpened words dig out my chest, depopulate me and leave me empty. One by one you extract my memories. I've forgotten my name. My friends grunt in a wallow with the pigs or rot in ravines eaten by the sun. There is nothing inside me but a large wound, a hollow place where no one goes, a windowless present, a thought that returns and repeats itself, reflects itself and loses itself in its own transparency. A mind transfixed by an eye that watches it watching itself till it drowns itself in clarity. I saw your horrid scales, Melusina, shining green in the dawn. You slept twisting between the sheets. You woke shrieking like a bird, and you fell and fell till white and broken nothing remained of you but your scream. And I find myself at the end of time with bad eyes and a cough rummaging through the old photos. There's no one. You're no one. A heap of ashes and a worn-out broom. A rusted knife and a feather duster. A pelt that hangs from a pack of bones. A withered branch. A black hole. And there, at the bottom, the eyes of a girl drowned a thousand years ago. Glances buried deep in a well. Glances that have watched us since the beginning. The girl's glance of the aged mother who sees her grown son a young father. The mother's glance of the lonely girl who sees her father a young son. Glances that watch us from the depths of life and are the traps of death. Or what if that fall into those eyes were the way back to true life? To fall, to go back to dream myself, to be dreamed by others that will come, another life, other clouds, to die yet another death. This night is enough, this moment that never stops opening out, revealing to me where I was, who I was, what your name is, what my name is. Was it I making plans for the summer and for all the summers on Christopher Street, ten years ago, with Phyllis? who had two dimples in her cheeks where sparrows came to drink the light. On the Reforma did Carmen say to me, The air so crisp here, it's always October. Or was she speaking to another I'd forgotten? Or did I invent it and no one said it? In Oaxaca, was I walking through a night black, green and enormous as a tree, talking to myself like the crazy wind, 
and coming back to my room, always a room, was it true the mirrors didn't know me? Did we watch the dawn from the Hotel Vernet dancing with the chestnut trees? Did you say, it's late, combing your hair? Did I watch the stains on the wall and say nothing? Did the two of us climb the tower together? Did we watch evening fall on the reef? Did we eat grapes in Bidart? In Perote, did we buy gardenias? Names, places, streets and streets, faces, plazas, streets, a park, stations, single rooms, stains on the wall, someone combing her hair, someone dressing, someone singing at my side, rooms, places, streets, names, rooms. Madrid, 1937. In the Plaza del Ángel, the women were sewing and singing along with their children. Then the sirens wail and the screaming, houses brought to their knees in the dust, towers cracked, facades spat out, and the hurricane drone of the engines. The two took off their clothes and made love to protect our share of all that's eternal, to defend our ration of paradise and time to touch our roots, to rescue ourselves, to rescue the inheritance stolen from us by the thieves of life centuries ago. The two took off their clothes and kissed because two bodies, naked and entwined, leap over time. They are invulnerable. Nothing can touch them. They return to the source. There is no you, no I, no tomorrow, no yesterday, no names, The truth of two in a single body, a single soul. Oh, total being. Rooms adrift in the foundering cities. Rooms and streets. Names like wounds. The room with windows looking out on other rooms with the same discolored wallpaper, where a man in shirt sleeves reads the news or a woman irons. The sunlit room whose only guest is the branches of a peach and the other room where it's always raining outside on the patio and the three boys who have rusted green. Rooms that are ships that rock in a gulf of light. Rooms that are submarines, where silence dissolves into green waves and all that we touch phosphoresces. And the tombs of luxury with their portraits nibbled, their rags unraveling. And the traps, the cells, the enchanted grottos. The bird cages and the numbered rooms all are transformed, all take flight. Every molding is a cloud, every door leads to the sea, the country, the open air. Every table is set for a banquet, impenetrable as conscious. Time lays siege to them in vain. There is no more time, there are no walls. Space, space, open your hand, gather these riches. Pluck the fruit, eat of life, stretch out under the tree, and drink. All is transformed. All is sacred. Every room is the center of the world. It's still the first night and the first day. The world is born when two people kiss. A drop of light from transparent juices. The room cracks half open like a fruit or explodes in silence like a star and the laws chewed away by the rats, the iron bars of the banks and jails, the paper bars, the barbed wire, the rubber stumps, the pricks and goats, the droning one-note sermon on war, the mellifluous scorpion in a cap and gown, the top-hatted tiger, chairman of the board of the Red Cross and the Vegetarian Society, the schoolmaster donkey, the crocodile cast in the role of savior, Father of the people, the boss, the shark, the architect of the future, the uniformed pig, the favorite son of the church who washes his blackened dentures in holy water and takes classes in civics and conversational English. The invisible walls, the rotten masks that divide one man from another, one man from himself. They crumble for one enormous moment and we glimpse the unity that we lost the desolation of being man and all its glories, sharing bread and sun and death, the forgotten astonishment of being alive. 
To love is to battle. If two kiss, the world changes. Desires take flesh. Thoughts take flesh. Wings sprout on the back of the slave. The world is real and tangible. Wine is wine. Bread regains its savor. Water is water. To love is to battle, to open doors, to cease to be a ghost with a number forever in chains, forever condemned by a faceless master. The world changes if two look at each other and see. To love is to undress our names. Let me be your whore, said Eloise. But he chose to submit to the law and made her his wife, and they rewarded him with castration. Better the crime, the suicides of lovers, the incest committed by brother and sister like two mirrors in love with their likeness. Better to eat the poisoned bread, adultery on a bed of ashes, ferocious love, the poisonous vines of delirium, the sodomite who wears a gob of spit for a rose in his lapel. Better to be stoned in the plaza than to turn the mill that squeezes out the juice of life, that turns eternity into empty hours, minutes into prisons, and time into copper coins and abstract shit. Better chastity, the invisible flower that rocks atop the stalks of silence, the difficult diamond of the holy saints that filters desires, satiates time, the marriage of quietude and motion. Solitude sings within its corolla. Every hour is a petal of crystal. The world strips off its masks, and at its heart, a transparent shimmer that we call God. Nameless being who studies himself in the void. Faceless being emerged from himself. Son of sons. Plenitude of presences and names. I follow my raving. Rooms, streets, I grope my way through corridors of time. I climb and descend its stairs. I touch its walls and do not move. I go back to where I began. I search for your face. I walk through the streets of myself under an ageless sun. And by my side you walk like a tree. You walk like a river and talk to me like the course of a river. You grow like wheat between my hands. You throb like a squirrel between my hands. You fly like a thousand birds, and your laugh is like the spray of the sea. Your head is a star between my hands. The world grows green again when you smile, eating an orange. The world changes if two, dizzy and entwined, fall on the grass. The sky comes down. Trees rise. Space becomes nothing but light and silence. Open space for the eagle of the eye. The white tribe of clouds goes by, and the body weighs anchor. The soul sets sail, and we lose our names and float adrift in the blue and green, total time where nothing happens but its own easy crossing. Nothing happens. You're quiet. You blink. Silence. Just now, an angel crossed, huge as the life of a hundred suns. Is nothing happening? Only a blink? And the banquet, the exile, the first crime, the jawbone of the ass, the opaque thud, and the startled glance of the dead falling on an ash-strewn plain. Agamemnon's great bellow, the screams of Cassandra, over and over, louder than the sea. Socrates in chains. The sun rises, to die is to wake. Crito, a cock for Esculapius, I'm cured of life. The jackal discoursing in the ruins of Nineveh. The shade that appeared to Brutus on the eve of the battle. Moctezuma, insomniac, on his bed of thorns. The ride in the carriage toward death. The interminable ride, counted minute by minute by Robespierre, his broken jaw between his hands. Churruca on his cask like a scarlet throne. The numbered steps of Lincoln as he left for the theater. Trotsky's dead rattle and his howl like a boar. Madero's gaze that no one returned. Why are they killing me? And the curses, the sighs, the silence of the criminal, the saint, the poor devil. Graveyards of anecdotes and phrases scratched up by rhetorical dogs. And the shouts of victory, the raving, the dark sound we make when dying. And that pulse beat of life as it's born. 
and the sound of bones being crushed in the fray, and the foaming mouth of the prophet and his scream, and the scream of the hangman and the scream of the victim. Eyes are flames. What they see is flames. The ear a flame, and sounds a flame. Lips are coals. The tongue is a poker. Touch and the touched. Thought and the thought of. He who thinks is flame. All is burning. The universe is flame. The nothing is burning. The nothing that is only a thought in flames, and nothing in the end but smoke. There is no victim. There is no hangman. And the cry on Friday afternoon. And the silence covered in signs. The silence that speaks without ever speaking. Does it say nothing? Are cries nothing? Does nothing happen as time passes by? Nothing happens. Only a blink of the sun. Nothing. Barely a motion. There is no redemption. Time can never turn back. The dead are forever fixed in death and cannot die another death. They are untouchable, frozen in a gesture, and from their solitude, from their death, they watch us, helpless, without ever watching. Their death is now a statue of their life, an eternal being eternally nothing. Every minute is eternally nothing. A ghostly king rules over your heartbeat and your final expression. A hard mask is formed over your changing face. The monument that we are to a life, and lived an alien, barely ours. When was life ever truly ours? When are we ever what we are? We are ill-reputed, nothing more than vertigo and emptiness, a frown in the mirror, horror and vomit. Life is never truly ours. It always belongs to the others. Life is no one's. We all are life, bread of the sun for the others, the others that we all are. When I am, I am another. My acts are more mine when they are the acts of others. In order to be, I must be another. Leave myself. Search for myself in the others, the others that don't exist if I don't exist, the others that give me total existence. I am not. There is no I. We are always us. Life is other, always there, further off, beyond you and beyond me, always on the horizon. Life which unleaves us and makes us strangers, that invents our face and wears it away. Hunger for being, O oh, death, our bread. Mary, Persephone, Eloise, show me your face that I may see at last my true face, that of another, my face forever the face of us all, face of the tree and the baker of bread, face of the driver and the cloud and the sailor, face of the sun and face of the stream, face of Peter and Paul, face of this crowd of hermits, wake me up, I've already been born. Life and death make a pact within you, Lady of Night, Tower of Clarity, Queen of Dawn, Lunar Virgin, Mother of Mother Sea, Body of the World, House of Death, I've been falling endlessly since my birth. I fall in myself without touching bottom. Gather me in your eyes, collect my scattered dust and reconcile my ashes. Bind these unjointed bones, blow over my being, bury me deep in your earth, and let your silence bring peace to thought that rages against itself. Open your hand, lady of seeds that are days. The day is immortal. It rises and grows. It has just been born. Its birth never ends. Each day is a birth. Each dawn is a birth. And I am dawning. We are all dawning. The sun dawns with the face of the sun. John dawns with John's face. The face of John that is everyone's face. Door of being. Dawn and wake me. Allow me to see the face of this day. Allow me to see the face of this night. All communicates. All is transformed. Arch of blood. Bridge of the pulse. Take me to the other side of this night. Where I am you. We are us. The kingdom where pronouns are intertwined. Door of being. Open your being and wake. Learn to be. Form your face. Develop your features. Have a face I can see to see my face. To see life until its death, a face of the sea, bread, rocks, and a fountain. 
source where all our faces dissolve in the nameless face, the faceless being, the unspeakable presence of presences. I want to go on, to go further, and cannot. As each moment was dropping into another, I dreamt the dreams of dreamless stones. And there, at the end of the years like stones, I heard my blood singing in its prison, and the sea sang with a murmur of light. One by one the walls gave way. All of the doors were broken down, and the sun came bursting through my forehead. It tore apart my closed lids, cut loose my being from its wrappers, and pulled me out of myself to wake me from this animal sleep and its centuries of stone. And the sun's magic of mirrors revived, a crystal willow, a poplar of water, a tall fountain the wind arches over, a tree deep-rooted yet dancing still, a course of a river that turns, moves on, doubles back, and comes full circle, forever arriving. Thank you for listening. I am Gabriel Porras, a professional voiceover artist. Visit me at gabrielvoice.com and radiantwhispers.com for more sun-brimming texts like this one. <laughs> <laughs>